Cinema 5D at IBC 2016 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Hedge for Mac, the fastest way to back up media. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And f and bright ideas. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at IBC 2016 at the Small HD stand. Uh, we're here with Dave, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the new Small HD monitor. Yeah, so uh, this year, we uh, earlier this year, we announced our production monitors, our large monitors from 17 to 32 inches. And at IBC, we're showing off our brand new 13-inch production monitor, which really kind of brings the best of both worlds, all that durability from the larger ones with a size that's a little bit more portable. We had a lot of requests for something a little bit smaller than the 17, so we decided to move forward with this 13-inch model. Uh, the 13-inch has a really nice 10-bit panel and a really wide viewing angle, which we got a lot of feedback that that's super important in these larger monitors. So it's got that really wide viewing angle. Uh, it also is actually brighter than the other large monitors at 1,200 nits of brightness. Uh, whereas the 17, 32, and 24 are 1,000 nits of brightness. So uh, it actually looks really good in the outdoors, and it's a much lighter weight because it's small, and it's got the, uh, the HDR functionality, which we've added recently to the 17 and 32. And basically what that is, you can do it a couple different ways. You can actually show real-time HDR if your camera can output it, like some of the RED cameras can, or you can just send a log image to it, and we can actually, we have a, a place in our menu where you go and you say, I'm using you know, Canon Log or Sony Log, and I want you to show me a HDR preview so you can get an idea in real time what an HDR image will look like, you know, if you go to do that in post or whatever that you decide to do. Uh, the 13 inch is going to ship this month, and it's got the same rapid rail system on the back so you can mount your Teradek and all those other uh, portable devices straight to it. Um, the 24 HDR is the other big one. Um, that one has not shipped yet. We did announce it at NAB, but it took a little longer to actually get it up and running. That's actually shipping as of last week as well, so we're showing that off for the first time in its final form here at the show. Cool. Where do you see the 13-inch come in for shooters? I mean, uh, is it more like uh, um, on camera? Like Because it's like in between size-wise. It is very unique, and I think that's kind of the fun part about it. Um, I've talked to a lot of people here just today and they think it's going to be really good for focus pullers and first ACs that don't have to be super portable on the set. They can actually have something a little heavier. Someone even mentioned buying one for his director and actually letting him carry it around because it is, it's not that heavy. Um, it's actually, it's a unique size so I'm not 100% sure where it's going to land quite yet. I think it's, it's going to be cool. I mean, I had a couple people that, you know, I talked to a lot and say, well, I don't really know about the 13, but when they came and sa saw it and held it, they're like, actually, I know someone this would be good for. So I think it'll kind of find its own place out in the market. I think rental houses will probably be the best place to find them in the beginning. So if you do have someone or if you're interested in them, I'd say call your local rental house and, you know, see if they can pick one up so that you can actually try it in the field, you know? Thanks. I think that was fairly comprehensive. Um... Thanks for watching our coverage uh, at IBC 2016 and thanks Dave for having us. All right, thank you.